guys, what's up? It's Ayana, and this week I'm going to be showing you some iMovie hacks. These ha all basically have the same concept, but I'm going to be showing you multiple ways that you can do it. So the first one is going to be how you can add text over your iMovie footage. So what you're going to want to do is open iMovie, and once iMovie is opened, you're going to select the clip that you want to screenshot. And in order to screenshot in iMovie, you have to press Shift, Command, and 4 all at the same time. So you're going to Shift, Command, 4. Um, you're going to go in the corner of where you see the video and drag it to where what size you want it to be. And you let go and it should go straight to your desktop. Then what you're going to want to do is open Keynotes, select Wide, and just the white presentation. And then you're going to press Choose. Uh, change the master to blank so you start off with a blank canvas and then after that what you're going to want to do is change the background color to green so then when you put it in iMovie you can add the green screen effect um, any green is fine because it's all green um, then you're going to want to drag that screenshot onto the green on top of the green and drag it out so it matches the size and then what you're going to want to do is add your title um, I just simply put what to do when you're home alone. You can easily do this for thumbnails. It can work for thumbnails. It can work for just simply putting text over your iMovie video. Either way, that's fine. So then once you have exactly what you want, you're going to want to click on the image and delete it. You're going to delete the image and you're going to want to go to File, Export to QuickTime. Um, you can do images or QuickTime, but QuickTime seems easier for me. Then you gotta change the seconds to zero, both of them to zero. Um, you can have the format in any quality you want, and then you're gonna press next. And then you can save it to wherever you want to. I just saved it to my desktop, and then I went back to iMovie, and I imported it. And now I'm gonna show you how you can add it to your video. So you're gonna add it to the end of your video, and then you're gonna right click on it and add a freeze frame and you then can delete the original video and once you add the freeze frame you can select that and put it right over the footage where you want it to go and you're gonna go to the top and click on the, the two squares and once you do that you're gonna change it from cutaway to green slash blue screen and then what you want to do is click on the crop and press crop to fill or you can do Ken's burn, Ken Burns or whatever you want. And that is how you can add text to your video footage. Another thing to do is how to add text anywhere in iMovie. And what you're going to do is you're going to do basically what you did the first time. Command Shift 4, the screen, what you want. Make sure the background is green. And then you're going to just add whatever text you want to add. And once you do that, you're going to follow the exact same procedure. But this time what you're going to do differently is you're going to add effects to it. So as you can see, I pressed transitions and added a bunch of effects to the different words. And to save it, you're going to file export to QuickTime. And once you export it to QuickTime, change both seconds to zero. And you can have it in any quality you want. And then press next. After that, you're gonna, it's going to save to your desktop. And you're going to bring it back into iMovie and do basically what you did the first time. So you're going to want to, you're just going to simply put it over the footage that you want to. Press the photo in photo and press blue slash green screen. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to add transitions to iMovie. So this one you're going to need to go to PicMonkey, which I like PicMonkey. So you're going to press on design and custom. do 1280 by 720 but I'm gonna go with the first one which is 1350 by 760 
And then once you're in PicMonkey, you're going to go to the overlays and they have a bunch of overlays to choose from. As you can see, there's geometric hearts, doodle hearts, a bunch of hearts actually, but I'm just going to go with the simple geometric and I'm going to make my design. Um, I'm going to fast forward from all this because it's basically boring, but make sure whatever you choose, you make it green. The green is the part that you're, the green is the part that you're going to see. And then once you're done, you're going to press save. For me in PicMonkey, what you would usually do is press save to my computer, but that never works. So I just right click on the image and then save the image as whatever you want to save it to and wherever you want to save it to. Then I press save. And then you're going to go back into iMovie, import, and then you're going to import your transition. After you import the transition, you can just basically, then you can put it over your footage and do what you did last time. Press photo and photo, and then green slash blue screen, and that is what you get. But like I said, I did mine a little sloppy. So there's a feature called Ken, Ken Burns, which you can use, which I find very cool um, because it kind of makes it look like it's moving. So that's just something extra you can do. And the final thing I'm going to show you is how to add effects over your footage. So it does, iMovie does come with some effects, but sometimes you may not want to use them and have different colors. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Keynotes and you're going to do wide and just a blank presentation. Then you're going to change the master to blank. And you can, you can, what I did was advanced gradient fill and I chose the colors I wanted to and I messed around with the settings, which you can do on your own. And then I press file save to QuickTime. I changed them both to zero and you can have any quality you want. Then I imported them to iMovie. I, and then I put it in front of the video because you have to add a freeze frame and I deleted the original video. And with that, you can put it over any clip you want, but don't forget, you have to press photo and photo and you can change the opacity to see how dark you want it to be or how light you want it to be. Cutaway is fine. So you change the opacity to whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna keep it about here and that's exactly what you get. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I will definitely appreciate that and I will see you guys all next Friday. Goodbye. Um, so if I actually look like poop, that's because I just came from cheerleading tryouts.